Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card, and this is Leo energy. So this is an energy of resilience. This is an energy of bravery and courage. This is also an energy showing a strong bond. So someone really has a lot of love for you. Um, someone sees you as someone who they'll always feel warm love towards. Okay, there's this feeling of a very resilient bond between you. You have this person's heart. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the King of Wands, Fire Energy, the Page of Swords, Air Energy, and the Five of Swords, Air Energy. So yeah, it looks like this is someone who's watching you, they're thinking about you, you're always in their heart and on their mind. Um, this person does want to reach out, but it looks like they are hesitant because with the Five of Swords, this could be someone you had conflict with. There is an energy of um, some sort of fallout having occurred and you may have distanced yourself from this person you may have felt like things went too far with this person and it looks like they don't have direct access to you right now because with the page of swords there's an energy of spying on you so they could be looking at your social media or asking friends about you or getting readings on you it looks like they don't really have direct access to you but this is someone who still cares deeply for you um, with the king of wands though it does look like they they could be planning here to approach you planning to take action in some way here okay so let's clarify these cards uh gemini Okay, so we have the tower and this is Mars energy. So something definitely went down between you guys, something a little bit volatile. It was abrupt. It could have even led to an ending or a separation. And this person feels like they didn't intend for things to go in that direction. It's almost like they feel like they lost control over the situation and they do have regrets now. They do wish they could take back some things that they said or some ways that they acted. Let's see. We have the Two of Wands, Fire Energy, the Five of Swords again, Air Energy, and the Five of Wands, Fire Energy. So there's a heavy energy of conflict, drama, uh, people, other people being involved. It's you and this person, there's an energy of them wanting to avoid or end this, the conflict. This is someone who feels like they didn't expect that, you know, and they are hurting over the situation. And um, you may not even know that this person still cares for you deeply. You may feel like this person is an opponent or a rival at this point. But this is someone who's hoping that you guys can bring back warmth to this connection. Um, this is someone who is watching you and wishing that things were different. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. Okay, we have a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries yeah something here came to like this, this climax there was drama there was conflict it was fiery and you know it, there could have been a lot of things said in the heat of the moment okay so let's see Okay, 
Okay, we have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So you are being advised here to get some a second opinion, um, getting get a listening ear, talking to a friend, someone you trust. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have destiny. It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. So this person's gonna try to rectify the situation. They feel like they have to at least try to make things right here. They have to at least try to see what they can do about the situation because they do have that feeling that if they just leave things alone as they are, you guys will never resolve this. You guys could end up just move, parting ways on bad terms and that's something they don't want. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. Okay, we have surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.